And that means some more exciting play around the county and another week for you guys to pick the game of the week. With league titles on the line, you guys picked Bakersfield Christian at Ridgeview, and that's where we found sports director Carrie Osip. Hey, she's there with a preview of the mashup. Hey, Carrie, how is it out there? Hey Josh, as Allison mentioned, we, we like the weather so far, but of course we got a great storyline tonight in this one. On one hand, we have the Bakersfield Christian Eagles who have gone undefeated in league play ever since Darren Carr took over as head coach. And on the other hand, you have a hungry wolf pack that is looking to take back over in the South Yosemite League after years of being on top of that league. Things changed when the Eagles got into the South Yosemite League. So this one is going to be a great matchup all around. And of course, we're going to be talking about these Eagles. So the Eagles started their season out very strong with three convincing wins before taking two losses on the year on the road. But since then, they haven't looked back, posting their third shutout of the season last week. While this team can hang their hats on defense, it's the offense that's also found its sweet spot behind Dominic Gamboni in the air and David Stevenson on the ground. And of course, when we're talking Eagles, we got to mention the sack king Ben Urasik and tonight that will all be on display when the Eagles face the team that trails or excuse me the team that trails them in the SYL and of course that would be Ridgeview but when we're talking about the Eagles I already mentioned it coach Carr we got to talk to the man who's been bringing success to Bakersfield Christian so now I'm going to be joined by Darren Carr and coach uh, first off we we found you way back here kind of in the outskirts of Ridgeview where your team's doing a walkthrough. Yeah, you try not to be too secret about it but you don't know who's around so you got to kind of be secret about your high school football plays so yeah we're putting yeah. you on blast putting it on camera I but <laughs> no worries about that but of course or of course coach Carr we last spoke to you uh, things were different Antonio Brown was on the Raiders when we last spoke to you and uh, obviously the team was just getting started but of course you guys settled into success here with Bakersfield Christian as you guys do. So where do you feel your confidence is as you guys head into this part of the season? Yeah, it's very high right now. You know, it's uh, playing good football. You turn on the film, you know, scores and points are one thing and shutouts are great and other things, man. You take a lot more than losses though, you know. So since our last two losses we had in a row, man, we've really started to point the needle up, you know. You turn on the film, you see the little things being done right and uh, you get excited, yeah. And I just asked you before this, but I'm going to put you on the spot here. So sure. you've been doing this for a while. You know yep. how to have success, but yep. where are your nerves as a coach as you enter this part of the season when things really start to matter and the league title, you know, is right there on the line? Yeah, I mean, nerves is the one thing. It's it's more excitement. You know, you're excited for these kids. I'll be doing this hopefully until I'm 60-something years old. But <laughs> for these guys, it's four years and they're done. They move on with their lives, you know. So it's exciting to see them play. Um, you, you, you just, it, it's what it is, man. You're not really nervous. You're just kind of really excited. And a week ago, we got to see that Derek Carr joined you guys on the sidelines. So we know football is in the family for the Carr. So what is that like to have that experience and have all your brothers out there in one game? It's, it's, a, it's a blessing, you know, because you look down the line and I got my dad, I got my cousin, I got both my brothers on the sideline. They all know football and just having a good time. I think Greg Kerr got a really good shot of us just laughing together. You know, I don't know what it was about, but it was funny. And it's, you can't pass those times up. So I, I know they're very special and uh, we take full advantage of when we get together. Yeah, we love to see those moments. And of course, your nephew having a game as well so that was pretty cool to see oh, so great, yeah. uh, of course uh, we wish you the best of luck thank you so much for taking the time out we'll let you get back to the secret walkthrough but of course <laughs> we'll have the highlights from this game as well as many others tonight for Friday Night Live we'll see you guys then but until then live from Ridgeview out here wherever we are I'm curious I'll send it back to you <laughs> that secret location uh, the Bakersfield